Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro and today we are talking about yet another Android 12 based ROM and this time it is Project Lighthouse. Although it is unofficial, I have installed it, ran the benchmarks, had it for 24 hours. So these are the initial impressions. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so what do we have here? Project Lighthouse unofficial Android 12 updated on the 14th of October 2021. Device change logs, source side updates, switch to arrow kernel, added refresh rate toggle, maybe bugs. Uh, yeah, I'll have to check that. Fixed Chrome and many more crashes, many device side optimization. SE Linux is permissive, safety net fails, vanilla build, no G apps included, suggested firmware 12.5.2 global or later. And that's everything the development team has to say. First things first, how is this ROM? This ROM is decent. I have had this since yesterday and of course, as you can expect, this is Android 12. So there will be bugs here and there and there will be some issues that you will face. But overall, this is a smooth ROM. Say for example, if you open settings, you will see sometimes there is a stutter, right? I, I do see that. So on the home screen, you don't have a lot of icons. The ROM doesn't boot with a lot of icons. It comes with Gcam pre-installed that is the full-fledged gcam as you can see you have portrait and everything else but you don't have different lenses that are available and from the top to bottom you have the monet themed ui which is working like a charm you have almost all the android 12 options right there you go you saw that stutter there right so that's that's why android 12 roms are in the early stages you have your power button over here and your edit option as well but if you actually go to settings you go to about phone you press on the android version which is 12 and keep tapping on it you will have your android 12 easter egg there you have it after which if you go to widgets you have your android s easter egg in which you have all the shades over here if you press on one of these you can actually copy and share it and stuff like that so these are basically the shades that are used by monet in different wallpaper colors so that is a neat touch over there and calling and everything you know basic functionality on this particular rom is working fine you won't have any issues at all matter of fact it doesn't really come up with a lot of bloatware so it really has that you know smooth feeling but sometimes these stutters are there for example this is consistent every time i open settings from the quick tiles you see this it is stuttering and if i open it from here it is smooth just notice the difference over here right there you go so those stutters are there but if you talk about android 12 you'll, you have all the advanced options that you get with android 12 working like a charm i've not seen any major major issues over here so you have apps notifications under notifications you have bubbles and granular control enhanced notifications that is there under battery you have battery manager battery saver and battery percentage now under battery if you click on battery manager you get a settings for closure so that is one of the issues but if you talk about battery usage as you can see over here we've had two hours and 18 minutes of screen on time and we've unplugged seven hours back and we still have 70 percent battery so the battery life is pretty decent moving on under sound you have your usual set of options and in display as well you have your refresh rate toggle for 120 hertz or 60 hertz you can go ahead and change that and in security you don't really have face unlock so let's actually go to security over here you have your fingerprint which works like a charm but you don't have your face unlock so you know all in all this rom is pretty rock solid it is a good start for lighthouse team towards android 12. now let's go ahead and quickly have a look at the benchmark number so you go to gallery go to screenshots CPU throttled 91 percent of its max performance and the average score is 178,724 GIPS. So that in my books is low because on a big ROG ROM, the K20 Pro scored around 200,000 GIPS average. So that is a low score and I'm pretty sure that will improve with time and a different kernel maybe. So if you go to history over here, 735 single core, 2433 multi-core. Again, that's a low score. 
So Android 12 across the board on the Poco X3 Pro, I have seen a couple of things. One, the overall brightness of the screen is lower than expected or anticipated on other ROMs based on Android 11. The benchmark scores right now are really low. So even 540, 226 is the score in Antutu 2 as well. So all in all, Lighthouse team, good start. You can definitely go ahead and try this ROM guys if you want, but there are some force closures, there are some issues here and there. So I would not recommend to use this as a daily driver. Maybe two or three builds later down the line, you will have better performance and no force closures that's when you can actually go ahead and try it. So that's it for Android 12 with Lighthouse for the Poco X3 Pro. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.